Sí. In the starting gates now is the women's high school varsity third final, the Gilman Mulligan Cup. In lane one, it's Pocock. Lane two, San Diego. Lane three, River City. Lane four, Connecticut. Lane five, Los Gatos. Lane six, Dallas United. Lane seven, Sac Capital. And lane eight, Austin. This is the women's high school varsity petite final. Oops. Third final. Correction, this is the third final. Baja California in one, City Island two, Texas Rowing Center in three, Black in four, Casitas in five, Cathedral Central in six, and NorCal in seven. Thank you. Okay. We've just been handed some of these draws, so they seem to be a little out of order. So again, women's high school varsity, third final in the starting gates now. Baja, California, City Island, Texas, Zlac, Casitas, Cathedral Central, and NorCal. Sorry, Cathedral Catholic. So uh, they've had a start in this th third final. Remember, these are the, all these rowers raced earlier today. Some of them just a few hours ago.
As they approach the thousand, it looks as though a pretty close race right now. Perhaps Baja California hanging on in there in lane one. Just behind them is City Island. And then a bit of a gap back to Texas in third position. Zlack in fourth. Casitas is, uh, no, no, no. Catholic Central. Ca Cathedral Catholic in fifth. This is event number 63. It's the women's high school varsity third final. Through a thousand meters, our race leader appears to be in lane one. That's Baja California State, followed by lane three, Texas Rowing Center. Then lane two could be could be two or three for that second or third position. City Island and Texas Rowing Center in lanes two and three, respectively, battling for that second and third position. Then out in lane four, it's Zlack. Then lane five would be Casitas. Then lane seven, NorCal Crew. And then in lane six, Cathedral Catholic High School. This is event number 63, Women's High School Varsity Third Final. Our leader, lane one, Baja California State, rowing comfortably in front of lane two, City Island. Then lane four, Zlack is in that third position with Texas Rowing Center falling back to that lane four in the third position and lane three, Texas Rowing Center in fourth position. A lot of steering problems happening right now out in lane five. A little bit of challenge with the, a little bit of wind, crosswind. But our call at, at 1,500 meters ago Baja California State is still leading. They're adjusting their course, although. Then in lane two, City Island has taken up that second position. In lane four, Zlack, a tad ahead of lane three, Texas Rowing Center. Then in lane five, Casitas Rowing, Rowing is battling with lane seven, NorCal Crew, with Cathedral Catholic High School in lane six. So 250 meters ago, and our leader in lane one, Baja California, having steering difficulty, but still leading this crew, this whole field of crews, up by about a length over lane two, City Island, who is up on lane three. Now Texas Rowing Center has taken that third position, followed by Zlack in lane four, then Casitas Rowing Club in lane five, followed by NorCal Crew in lane seven, and Cathedral Catholic High School in lane six. Here we go, last couple hundred meters. Baja, lane one, then City Island, sprinting on. But we really have a race for that third and fourth position out in lanes three and four. It's Texas Rowing Center battling Zlack for that third position. It's Zlack by a by a bow ball over Texas Rowing Center. Baja California State is our winner. Lane one, followed by City Island. And it looks like Zlack may pull out the third position out in lane four over Texas Rowing Center. Then it's Casitas Rowing Club in lane five, followed by NorCal Crew in lane seven. Then Cathedral Catholic High School out in lane six. It's the women's high school varsity third final.